Welcome to the world of Knits Cool. This video will teach you how to knit these super trendy wrap bracelets using our new post knitting method. The wrap bracelet pattern is a more advanced project compared to the scarf, purse, or other headband kits, and we encourage you to try one of those projects first before trying this one. For this project, you will need the Knits Cool Studio with all of its components and also the components from the wrap bracelet kit. First, select the gold sparkly bracelet posts that come with the wrap bracelet kit and insert them into the small holes in the studio. Make sure you hear them click in. Also make sure that you have your yarn holder inserted at the back. For this project, I'm going to choose the Fuchsia Sparkle Yarn. Casting on. For this project, you will cast on just three stitches. To first cast on, take your yarn and find the tail end. Make a slip knot and place it onto the right post, like this. You can give it a little tug to make the loop snug to the post. Next, twist to make a loop and place it onto the right post. Tighten the loop until it is snug. Now, make another loop and place it onto the right post as well. You should now have three stitches cast onto the right post. Now before we start to knit, make sure your yarn is looped through the yarn holder at the back. This is super important because it keeps your yarn towards the back and helps you to make the special bracelet pattern. Okay, let's start knitting. You're going to notice that the bracelet method is a little different than all the other patterns. We will be only knitting from right to left, not back and forth like the scarf, headband, or purse instructions. Okay, let's remove the first stitch from the right post. Using your crochet hook, insert it into the loop and grab the yarn, pulling it through the loop. This makes a new loop, and then you just pop it onto the left post. Tighten up the stitch a little by pulling on the yarn. Now take the next stitch from the right post and pull the yarn through it, placing the new stitch onto the left post again. Do the same for the remaining third stitch. Knit it and place the new loop onto the left post. You should now have all three stitches on the left post. Keep in mind that this first set of stitches is the most finicky. Once you get going, you'll definitely get the hang of it. Now for the fun part. Pop out the two posts and reverse them. Except, before you pop them back in, flip the post containing the three stitches upside down. Your three stitches should now be on the right post and you can move them up, closer to the top. Okay, so now you're going to repeat these same steps, knitting all the three stitches onto the left post again. Then reverse your posts again, flipping the post with the stitches on it upside down. Keep repeating these steps and you'll start to see your knitted work looking more and more like a bracelet. Keep going until you finish all the yarn, or until you have the length you want. Let's cast off now. Knit only two stitches onto the left post. Then take the bottom stitch and slip it over the top stitch. I like to use the crochet hook for this part as it gives me more control. Then knit the remaining stitch from the right post onto the left post. And then again slip the bottom stitch over the top stitch. Now take this one stitch with your project off the post completely and thread the tail through the loop. You're now finished the knitting part of the wrap bracelet. Adding charms. Now you can add some of the Knits Cool charms by threading them onto the bracelet or even add your own beads to it as well. Once you're done designing your bracelet, just tie the ends together and clip away the excess. You now have a cool wrap bracelet to wear on your wrists or use them as a necklace or even a headband.